Alexa here with the Duval Homestead, and today I'm going to share with you how I decorated our table for spring. We like to have really nice breakfasts at our homestead every weekend. We try to do pancakes and eggs and potato hash and lots of really yummy stuff. So in this video I want to show you how I set the table and a really easy, fun method to fold your napkins if you're having people over and give them kind of that farm to table fresh spring flavor. I will also be sharing these spring brunch recipes on my website to those who are subscribed. So if you want to learn how to make some of these things that I serve for brunch, just head on over to the website. It's a free downloadable ebook. So one of my favorite parts about spring is the freshness and the newness, and new life and new growth. So I went ahead and just picked up some white tulips from our store. I actually got these at Whole Foods. They were only $5, which is the best price I've seen. Actually, our local Safeway has them a lot more expensive. So Whole Foods is definitely where I'm at now getting flowers if we don't have them ourselves. We have some flowers planted, but obviously they haven't grown yet. When I set the table, I just wanted it to be very welcoming and farm fresh. I love bringing as much as I can from farm to table from the outdoors in. So what I did for spring was I thought it would be fun to use kind of an Easter basket straw type material that I actually got out of a Easter ba basket packaging and I just stuffed that in the napkins. These are our linen napkins and I have this way of folding them that I really like. So they're basically a square and you just take one corner and you fold to the next corner and then you fold it in half again into a smaller triangle and then you take each end and you bring it inward towards the center and you can actually stop right here and just place this on top of your plate and it's a really nice simple easy table setting or you can which is what I did is I stuffed it with some of the straw just to give it that really nice spring feel you know spring is also the time for new chickens uh, chicks hatching out of their eggs Easter's around the corner so I really enjoy bringing that Easter -y feel even though it's not like we're celebrating Easter tomorrow it's just the idea of spring in general that I was trying to bring to this table so I put the straw inside of the napkin and I just rolled it up and I used string to make a little fastener at the front so it's a really easy rolled napkin technique and then you can just go ahead and stuff your silverware in there so I put some forks and knives now for this table setting I had in mind a brunch so I usually will have our family over on the weekends my parents will come over or occasionally we'll have friends over but usually it's just family and I will put out a lot of different things for breakfast we almost always have eggs so I'll make a whole dozen eggs and we always have homemade yogurt and gr homemade granola so those are just things I like to keep on hand because I work from home so I'm always eating yogurt and granola as either a meal or a snack constantly so on the weekends I like to bring my whole half gallon mason jar out and just let people scoop away at the granola and yogurt so I'm gonna have that out on the table I always have candles now I don't really love scented candles I do have a couple scented candles that I really enjoy and I usually light them in the early evening time kind of like a cocktail hour if you know we're gonna have one I always talk about how we celebrate in the evening every evening if my husband's coming home from work or if we're just home no matter what we're doing I feel like the evenings are a very celebratory time and we have a very European traditional family in that way that we kind of eat late and we celebrate a lot in the evenings. So usually I always have a candle on in the evenings. I don't usually turn them on during the day because most people don't because it's bright out. But in this case, for a brunch, I definitely would. And in Seattle, we have a company called Glassy Baby and they do these really nice candle votives. And that's what I have on the table today. Um, they're really beautiful hand-blown glass. So I just put two of those votives on the table and I love just the simple white color. I also have these three really cute Easter candles that my parents actually gave us last year and they are just super cute so I just thought I'd throw those on. I really am not someone to, goes, who goes out and buys a lot of decor as you can tell this table is really quite simple but I do enjoy occasionally putting something a little Easter -y, something festive out so that's why we put those out. And then I put baby's breath on the table which are one of my favorite flowers. Oh my gosh I love them for a lot of reasons. First they're beautiful. Um, they go with everything and they make the room and the space just look bright and cheerful and so pretty. But the other reason I love them is they last a really long time. So baby's breath lasts, you could get several weeks out of them, really. So I, I've had these for a couple weeks now and I'm just gonna put them on the table for this table setting as well. And for brunch, I always have fresh fruit out. So I've got some blueberries and carrots, fruits and vegetables and other yummy things. I love kind of 
a la carte serving, so whenever I set a table, I always put a lot of food out so people will feel like they have options and whatever they like. The table runner that's on the table is a handmade item from a local farm called Misty Valley Farm, which is local to us. And I actually go and get a lot of my locally made products there. They do a really great job at making linen, um, also just natural products. So I, this one is their new one. Um, they are a lavender farm, so this is a lavender kind of inspired table runner, which is usually something I would do in the summertime, but it worked out really well for this spring. Now I'm doing this video with a few other of my blogger friends, Jaden from Backroad Bloom and Samantha from Little Cottage on the Coast. They are also doing spring table setting ideas and kind of handmade DIY crafty ways to set your table for spring. So if you want more ideas, go over to my blog and then scroll down and you will find links to their site as well. So now I'm also doing this video as I'm writing an ebook for my five favorite spring brunch recipes. So if you want Want a printable, all-inclusive brunch menu, um, something that you could make for a lot of people or just for your family, head on over to my blog and you'll see a tab for spring brunch ebook. If you are already subscribed, you will get this ebook automatically in your inbox. If not, just head on over to theduvalhomestead.com and subscribe. Well, thank you so much for watching this video and stopping by our homestead to see our spring farmhouse table. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and like on Facebook. Every week I post our farm to table recipes, homesteading, natural living, and how we just incorporate our natural lifestyle at our homestead here in Duval. As always, if you like this video, feel free to share it with someone you think would like it too. And thanks so much for stopping by our homestead.